Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects, I'm Steph, and today I'm going to wash the entire Home Reserve sofa right behind me. Home Reserve makes modular furniture that is machine washable, and so I got this sofa a year ago and I haven't washed it, but I thought I really needed to do it. But there are three reasons why I haven't done it, and number one is it hasn't looked dirty. So I was like, why do I need to wash it if it doesn't look dirty? Number two though, I know it's dirty because this dog, right, that dog right there, she licks the sofa, so kind of don't want to admit that but I, I just did so I know it is dirty <laughs> and number three is I thought it was gonna be annoying to wash and so I've kind of been dragging my feet but today we're gonna do it and I'm gonna take you along for the journey so let's get started let's start by washing the ottomans I first took out the backboard and then removed the cover I haven't removed the covers in a year so it took me a minute to remember how I stuffed the cushions originally the best method was to fold the cushion in half and then remove the cover I also noticed the back wood pieces were challenging to remove as they have stuck in place over time, but I took it slow and was able to take them out. I thought the big ottoman would be the hardest, but it was pretty easy to fold it in half and take the cover off. I decided to do a few pieces of the sofa at a time so I could still utilize parts of the sofa while the other parts dried. Now the sides of the sofa could technically be taken off and washed as well, but I think I'd only do that if there was a noticeable stain as I don't want to go through the process of taking apart the whole sofa. I emailed Home Reserve to find out exactly what they recommend when washing the Home Reserve fabric. This is how they responded. To machine wash, the fabric can be washed in cold water on a gentle cycle. We recommend a gentle detergent like Woolite, but any detergent can be used, just make sure there's no bleach. Spin them in the washing machine, but do not place them in the dryer. Don't use heat on the fabric at all, it can damage the fibers. If you need to remove wrinkles, you can put the damp covers in the dryer on a no heat air fluff cycle for 10 to 15 minutes before putting them on the frames and cushions. You can let them air dry before putting them on if you want, but I recommend putting them on while they're still damp. The fibers in the fabric stretch better when they're damp, making it easier to put the fabric covers back on. Mom headed to Target to pick up a bottle of wool light located in the laundry section. At our Target, it was on the top shelf. I added the recommended amount into the liquid detergent dispenser in my washer and chose the delicate option which uses cold water and about 45 minutes later, I removed the first load of cushion covers. I didn't do any type of heat drying as recommended by Home Reserve, so once the covers were done, I put them back on the cushions to fully dry. I was a little concerned about putting the cushions back on wet and how the dampness might affect the cushions, but it proved to be a pretty simple process and didn't seem to damage the cushions to put the covers on while they were damp. I tried to stuff them back correctly, but once everything is dry, I'll probably make some final adjustments. If you wonder what that silky material is around the cushions, they come with the cushions to help them slide easier into the covers. And that's held up fairly well over the year. I did find a hole or two in some of them, but overall they fit nicely back into the covers like they originally did. To allow them to dry, I put them on the base at an angle to allow airflow, and I also flipped them over once the top was dry. Adding the cushions back was a seamless process by folding the cushion in half and making sure each cover was filled in. With all the ottomans drying, it was time to work on the couch next. I decided to do four pieces at a time. I just unzipped and followed the same process to wash them. After the cushions were washed, I stood them up next to the sofa and rotated them as they dried. I covered the cushions without covers with a blanket to make sure they stayed clean. I left the last two till the end of the day so my dog still had her spot. Mom had the idea to wash one cover in a clear container so we could visibly see how dirty they might be because we couldn't really see dirt on the cushions. So this is just a little clean water with a little wool light added. It's hard to see on camera, but the water was noticeably darker after soaking this cover. So what we learned is, yes, these cushions were dirty, but you just couldn't see it. And here is the before. 
And here's the sofa after washing and everything is dry. What do you think? Do you see any differences in the before and after? What we learned. All right, so what I learned was this was not annoying. I was pleasantly surprised. It was a pretty seamless process. It did take about six hours for everything to dry. So in the future, I'd probably wash everything at night, let it air dry overnight, and then in the morning, put my sofa back together. Now, I'm really glad I contacted Home Reserve to get the exact way to wash this, and I used what they recommended, which is wool light. Um, I, will put a, I will put all of the information of what they said in the description. I'll also have a full list of everything on our website at motherdaughterprojects.com, and so you can check that out, and you can see kind of the description of how to wash the sofa. When we put together the sofa, we actually finished the wood that is the frame of the sofa. Uh, you don't have to, but we painted it white to give it a more finished look and also to help with the smell of that of the wood. And I'm really glad we did that because I think the wood would have smelled even more if we had put it into the damp fabric. So I'm glad that that was painted. Overall, I'm really glad I finally washed the sofa. I'll probably be doing it again in another year. And at night, as I said, mom is here, by the way. Uh, she wasn't a big part of the washing process, so that's why she's not on camera, but she's right there. Say something so they know you're alive. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'll be in the next one. <laughs> Tasha's here too. Look, that's mom. Mom's here. 